Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you. It was requested from one of my previous videos um, and it's this heavy kind of winged liner. Let's see if I can zoom it in. Look at that. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. You can see I've got bare eyes. I've done my face makeup. Um, but now I'm going to do the eyes. So first I took um, Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 13. Which is really pretty, like champagne colour. Excuse me if I feel if I'm like almost out of breath. It's just hay fever is like really not doing it for me at the moment. So okay, so I'm gonna put that all over the eye. So I already put my acro cream on this eye, but I'm gonna put it on this eye now. You can see it's a really pretty champagne colour. I'm gonna put it all over the lid, down into the inner corner, and just blend it upwards like that love these aqua creams they literally last all day they're amazing i don't know how i can live without them they're perfect for the beach and stuff because they're completely like waterproof so that's that so next i'm going to be taking pretty much my favorite eyeshadow color ever and that's called floof from mac hopefully you can see that to set it like that so now it's time to do the eyeliner and for that I'm going to be using my dolly wink eyeliner and I've showed this before but you can see it's really really thin which is excellent and I've just got a mirror here so I'm going to be looking at that but I'll talk as I'm doing so you want to start off thin towards the centre and or towards the inside of your eye. Then we'll thicken it up. Just gonna do a basic line first. And I'm gonna do that basic line on both eyes. Like that, hopefully you can see. You can see this eye on me is completely different to this eye. So it always looks a bit different. And it likes to spread up here. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is just draw a line. Like that. Trying to make it equalish on both sides. And then what you want to do is just connect it up. No, I like to make mine a bit thicker. I was wearing it thicker on that video that this look was requested from, so I'm gonna go a bit thicker. But you don't have to. You can just keep it as thin as you want. Sorry, it's not very, I don't know if it's in focus or not, but that's why I'm looking over there to check the screen. I think it's okay. So I'm just going to kind of let that to dry a bit, because if I look up too fast, it might transfer. So while I'm going to do that, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Take a mirror again, and I'm using Fling Eyebrow Pencil from MAC, but you can do whatever you want, however you usually do your eyebrows. I'm going to do them not too strong it's because I have quite a strong eye going on but just keep them nice and in shape I really need to get them waxed or something so you block them I 
So next you might be able to see that I have little gaps kind of closer to the lash line. So I'm going to get an eyeliner. This is Stubborn Brown from MAC, which is a very dark brown. Um, but you can use black. And I'm just going to tight line my eyes to make sure I don't have any gaps. And then you don't have to do this, but I like to put a little bit on my lower lash line. help balance it out. Sometimes I like to just do the top lash line and just stop there but I like to just have a little bit here. So now we're going to move on to mascara and I can see me guys out a bit for this. Okay so excuse my skin. It looks gross. I don't know what's happening. Anyway so next I'm going to be doing mascara. I'm going to take my Bourjois Fast and Perfect which is the rotating mascara and you don't need really heavy um, mascara on here unless you're going to go all the way and put lashes on, which I'm not. Um, so I'm just going to do this. Just coat them up nicely and then a little bit on the lower lashes. So next I'm going to put a little bit of blush on and I'm going to take NARS Gaty, which looks like this. I'm just going to get it on a small brush. This is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. Sorry about any sniffing hay fever. Okay, I'm going to get some on there, tap off the excess and just bring it up here. Just a nice, soft, delicate flush. Go. Cool. So I don't want anything on my lips because they, I've already got so much going on in my eyes so I'm just going to get some Vaseline and I'm going to put that on my lips, it's a creme brulee one, it's so nice. So then we are done, so you can take your hair down. My hair's a bit of a mess but oh well. <laughs> And yeah, we are done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful to some of you. Uh, thank you again for requesting and please do leave any other requests below. And I'll see you soon. Bye.